Administrative hearings are now underway for the 12 police supervisors involved in a police chase last November that left two people dead. Cleveland Safety Director Marty Flask and Police Chief Mike McGrath are hearing the cases. News Channel 5's investigator Sarah Buttison joins us now live. And Sarah, we understand these hearings will determine if the supervisors will be disciplined for their roles in the cases. That's right. Starting today, Safety Director Marty Flask is holding hearings for the six supervisors facing serious charges for their actions related to the November 29th police chase and shooting. Do you have any comment about your actions the night of the Sorry, chase? Don't Would you don't like to comment. say anything? Four sergeants were scheduled for hearings. Four sergeants were scheduled for hearings today. All 12 faced numerous charges. A police panel found the supervisors failed to take control of the chase and failed to communicate important information. One sergeant is accused of leaving an unsecured rifle in a police vehicle with its windows open. Fraternal Police Order President Brian Batley says the scrutiny over their actions has taken a toll on the supervisors. Some of them have been seeking uh, help outside, you know, uh, outside help and everything to help them cope through this. I mean, they all have families. Imagine the strain that's uh, put on their, their spouses and their children and everything else. By outside help, I assume you mean psychological counseling? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they get outside stress help, yeah. Two more disciplinary hearings are scheduled for Wednesday. Chief Michael McGrath will oversee the hearings for the six supervisors who are facing less serious charges for their actions during the November 29th chase. And a city official told me today that we're not going to find out the punishments these supervisors will face until all of these hearings are complete. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5.